This particular test is known as a gelatin hydrolysis test, and so we're looking to see whether or not a microorganism, a bacterium, can break down or hydrolyze gelatin. Right, gelatin's a protein. We get it from a bunch of uh, things that uh, we, we put a bunch of things in a big old vat. And, um, we boil it up, we extract the gelatin, we purify it. And then you can make things like gummy bears, you can make things like um, gel caps, all kinds of different things, right? Um, it does have some nutritional value. It's really good for diabetic patients because if they eat jello or something like that, it's uh, slower to release into the system and so the system's not overrun with, with uh, carbohydrates. So the, this is a semi-solid and so if we then take a tube that hasn't been inoculated, you can see it's kind of like jello. And so we would inoculate any, with any tool, but you would simply take the tool, again, there's no organism in here, you could use a, a loop or a needle and just take it and inoculate it into the medium. It can be real messy, it's not like a motility medium, you have to be really careful. And then we would take those and we would, we would incubate them for about 24 hours. We'd come back and we'd place them in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. If you put them in, when you put them in the incubator at 37 degrees Celsius, 98.6 Fahrenheit, it will uh, allow for the, uh, for the molecules to uh, become a liquid, right? And so we'll come back, we'll put them into the refrigerator, and those particular organisms that were able to break down the gelatin, the, the test would remain liquid. Those organisms that could not break down gelatin the gelatin would repolymerize and be solid, right? So here's the difference between the two tests. You can see that I can move this here, and that's negative. And here I can just move it just a little bit, and you can see there's liquid, and so that's positive. You don't want to turn this all the way up, upright or, it, or facing downward because it would come right out of the tube, right? But you can see that's positive. And if you hold these things right together, you can see the difference between positive and negative. Okay? Negative, 